It is unfortunate that many believers do not even remember God when they are in crisis. They look for quick fixes, and they seek for help outside of Zion. Meanwhile, Psalm 16 verse 4 says that the sorrow of those that run after other gods shall be multiplied. Don't seek help from people that cannot help you. Only God is reliable. We are sure that He cannot fail if we call Him. If He says we should call Him, then it means He will answer us. If God will not answer us, He would not ask us to call on Him. Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2 says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Our help cannot come from anywhere than from the Lord. If God does not help an individual, no one will help him or her. Stop looking unto people. Stop trusting in humans. Stop looking at your own resources. Stop looking at what you can do in your power. Because you have a God who is large and in charge, a God who is the Alpha and Omega. The strength of humans is limited, but God is unlimited. Humans can fail, but God cannot fail. Always learn to call on God in every situation you find yourself. In Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, God commands us to call unto Him, and He will answer. He also promises to show us great and mighty things which we do not know. We cannot know great and mighty things by our human wisdom, because the secret things belong to God, and He will only reveal them to those that call unto Him. When you call God into the situations of your life, He will not only answer you, additionally, He will show you great and marvelous things beyond your understanding. There is an interesting story in the Bible where a woman cried to the king for help, but the king confessed that if God does not help her, no one will. 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 26 and 27 says, And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, whence shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? As a matter of fact, most people we run to for help need help too. You can only receive help from people that God sends to help you. If God does not help you, no one will. If we know this truth, we won't contact people before we contact God for help. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? If you believe there is nothing too difficult for God, your faith will be stirred up to call unto Him in every situation of your life. No matter how difficult the situation you are passing through, never neglect to call upon God. Can you look back and see the blessings of God charted through your life? We can all identify the supernatural hand of God in our lives as we prayed, and He answered. As we prayed, and He answered. You can look back in your life and give the testimony, God answers prayers. Look at the times in your life when God has made a way for you, when there seemed to be no way. Look at the times when your back was against the wall and all you had to stand on was your faith and the name of Jesus, and God came through for you. Look back in your life when you didn't know how you were going to pay your bills, and God made a way for you. 
Look back in your life when your health deteriorated, but God healed you. Don't forget the things God has done for you. Close your eyes if you need to, and roll back the curtains in your mind and retrace Yahweh's hand in your life. Were you ever healed from an ailment by God? Or you may have prayed for a loved one and saw God's miraculous power to heal that person? Maybe it was that job interview that you flunked, yet still got the job because of the favor of God. Or that exam that you were sure you failed, but God came through for you. I am sure if you put on your faith glasses and look back over your life, you will see that there were many instances that God was working for you, and you weren't even aware of it. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says, We should ask, and we shall be given. It says we should seek, and we shall find. It says we should knock, and it shall be opened unto us. Asking precedes receiving, and seeking precedes finding. What many believers do is to murmur against God in times of trouble. But that is not what God commands us to do. Don't complain. When we are in trouble, we are to call upon God, not to murmur against Him. If many would convert their murmuring moments to prayer moments, their troubles would have been the springboard to great miracles. The Red Sea didn't part until Moses called upon God. The prison didn't open until midnight when Paul and Silas began to pray and to sing to God. Don't keep quiet over your problems. Call upon God today. If there are people who pray, there is a God who will answer. Don't assume that God has given up on your situation if you have not called upon Him. When three mighty nations rose against Judah, Jehoshaphat called upon God for help. He knew that his strength would fail in such battle. According to Psalm 20, verse 7, although some trust in the chariots and some in horses, we must continually remember the name of the Lord. King Jehoshaphat remembered the name of the Lord God of heaven, and he came to his rescue and took over their battle. Your battle becomes the battle of God when you pray. But when you fail to call upon God, your battle remains your battle. Prayer brings God into the situations of your life. Calling on God in the midst of the storms of life means that you trust and depend on Him for help. 